of her face There's a taste of a song from 2018 to a past love and I'm recounting it today for the first time in years. It's called The Shine in My Day. Your face in the mirror Your smile so bright All the times that we'd love all the times that we'd fight I'll never forget you You were the shine in my day Whenever we were together Bad things went away oh, Let's drink to each other Let us drink to those Let us never be down 
Let us never be great. That I'd met you, I'd felt so lucky. The times we'd embrace, I felt so very free. Oh, I'll forget you. Always wanted you to be by my side. Then things they just happened. Well, we tried, yes we tried. Oh, let's drink to each other. Let us drink to those days. Let us never be down. Let us always remain gay. Well, they seem made for us to be the stars in your eyes. I never wanted you to be blue, baby, baby, baby. I love you forever. Oh, I would always be there. That's what I said. Do not give up the ghost. Do not give up the fight for your love. Oh. In the mirror, your smile, it was so nice. The times that we loved, those times felt so very nice. Never forget you, you were the shine in those days. Whenever we were together, bad things seemed to go away. Oh, let's drink, drink to each other. Let us drink to those days. Oh, let us never be down. Let us always be gay. Low, so I'm sitting here in this beautiful park called Kogane Koen, Kogane Park, in West Tokyo. I walked out here from the station. It took me 15, 20 minutes with guitar and bags and computer and all kinds of stuff I thought I might use today once I, when I was out. And, uh, anyway, it was worth it. And the sun's starting to go down now. It's going to get chilly and dark soon, but just playing guitar. Uh, recorded a few things. We'll see. I might edit them later. 
And uh, there's this train behind me which reminds me of another park where I used to live nearby when I first came to Tokyo. But it's not this park, actually. There's an old train there. And, uh, so, yeah, this morning I woke up with like tons of nostalgia, listening to old music, my own old music with my old bands, and then listening to like Ozzy Osbourne from the 90s or 80s or 90s or something, and this kind of thing. And uh, I'm in a much better mood than I had been uh, in previous, sort of last week I was pretty down and I was thinking about this, you know, like topic for, for talk kind of thing. And I think what I wanted to say basically, I'm going to make this a really short talk, is that you are what you think you are, you are what you believe and I think the mind is like the ultimate liar, you know, because like it tells itself lies and then it believes its own lies, unless uh, it's kind of like smart enough to see through its own tricks and illusions. I mean, you know, it's kind of Buddhist, right, or kind of, don't have to give it a title, like, but this is, uh, you know, what meditation masters say, right? You gotta kind of not train the mind but like see it for what it is and then kind of see beyond it if that makes sense you know because it tells lies constantly like sometimes it tells you good lies sometimes it tells you bad lies uh if you tell it good lies then maybe good things will manifest and if you tell it bad lies it will mess you up right so and give you depression and you know make you feel kind of useless or stuck in my case, I don't feel, I, I didn't feel, wasn't feeling useless. I don't have that issue at this stage in my life. I did when I was younger, maybe. I don't feel that way at all about myself, you know. I have confidence in what I do, in my teaching, in my music, in all these things like this. But um, I was feeling very stuck. And uh, one, um, I was improvising a piece uh, some months ago that turned into a, a very long piece called Tipping Point. And... Uh, in tipping point, it's uh, in Japanese, and at the end, I s it was just uh, in sokyo, which is like, uh, what do you say, uh, improvisation. I was just improvising the lyrics, and at the end of that, I, I said in English, uh, the key is in your pocket, so unlock the cage. And I was thinking, in a way, about my own words yesterday, you know, and like, well, why don't I just take the key out of my pocket and... You know, like unlock the cage, you know, that I made around myself, which is like one of the other reasons I wanted to do for the first time ever a talk in the park instead of in my room. I mean, I could have done this even during COVID, you know, like go to the park, right? And not have to wear a mask, but there's no, COVID is not basically an issue now. So what's the problem? Why do I have to sit in my room, certainly on a Saturday, and lock myself in a cage. I was in my room this morning, I did laundry and I did some things. And then I came out and uh, bought a new shirt at 20% off or something. It's the white shirt like this. And uh, gonna maybe get, me some, get myself some shoes because these shoes are really old and they're falling, not falling apart quite, but they're, they're pretty close. And um, you know, so life is what you make it, isn't it? You know? And so, like, I've been sort of in a complaining mode slightly um, lately, and I'm unlocking the cage. And last night I went to a local place and I played the clarinet for the first time in like 20 or 25 years or something. Second, I was in second grade and uh, played it until I was in the sixth grade or something. So I played for like is that right? I think I played four or five years, maybe six years. I may have maybe even played longer, but anyway, like since middle school, I hadn't touched the clarinet and uh, there was a, a, a kangaki ba. So it's a bar for uh, reed or, 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 or blown mouth, what do you call it? Wind instruments. <laughs> I can't even remember the name. Wind instruments. So I went in and uh, they had a piano and I a keyboard. I played the keyboard a bit. And then I said, you know, I used to play clarinet. So he gave me a a washable reed they have now, you know, I guess that's what he said. It wasn't wood. 
It was plasticky washy, said it's fine, and why don't you play it? And I did. And it was fun, and we chatted, and I talked too much, actually, but, you know, hey. I don't have to sit in my room every night alone, do I? No. Not anymore, I don't, I mean, I, I never did. I have a show on Tuesday, and, uh, we make our own cages, as I said. But I'm, yeah, nostalgic reminiscing, but, you know, I know that that's also... I think there's nothing wrong with it if you don't let it sort of... It's not like a negative thing, you know? Just like, oh, those were, you know, nice times in, in, in their way, and had their problems, and they're good things, and they're not good things. And, you know, and it's like... So... It's a memory. What's a memory? It exists in the mind of the person who remembers it and what happens when the person no longer remembers it where does it go we only have the present feels good right now up down up down the world is bipolar <laughs> and if I get really philosophical you could say well it is if you're thinking in terms of duality, right? Of opposites, yin and yang, plus and minus, man and male and female, etc., etc. I'm not going to go into that philosophical conversation too much now, maybe. I was going to make it a short talk. Seven minutes is short so far. Terms how, how, how much I want to chat, huh? Maybe, maybe I'll make it a short talk, but yeah. So just live your life while you have your health and you can do it. And if your health is kind of something's wrong, then maybe there's something wrong with your life and you have to manifest something else. And only you can decide that. And maybe your, your mind is telling you lies because it's a liar about yourself that you can and can't do this. You can and can't get out of the situation you're in or, or, or whatever. I mean, it takes time, it takes effort, but if you work toward it, just, just that step is like, Oh, I found the key and turning the lock and, and you know, it's not like you can unlock the door and walk through it instantly, maybe, but you're already walking through it. Maybe you have to walk down a long hall or something until you get to your, your goal, but you get to one goal and then that just sets off the next, right? Life is a process of learning. That's it. So, I mean, I kind of know that. <laughs> I knew it and I kind of know it, but I sometimes fall down this, the rabbit hole and it's dark down there, right? So... So, you know, that's what I wanted to say. It's beautiful out here, and it's like spring in December. I don't have a jacket on. I was... I walked with my sweatshirt, and it was too hot. <laughs> so here I am. Thanks, and... Uh, Ooh, maybe I should move to the next before it gets too cold. It's beautiful out here, though. I'm going to move my location. Thanks, everyone. Have a nice weekend and week. And happy Christmas, New Year, coming soon. Mark Lowe.